Hey all, Brent here with a special video. I'm on the road today, so don't have any of the special equipment or the microphone or any of that stuff, so uh, forgive the odd quality. But I want to talk a bit about a new thing, Haruhi, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumi, uh, Season 2, The Endless Eight, and folks complaining about it. Basically, what's been going on is um, Haruhi Season 2 came out, started about uh, a couple months ago, and a couple of episodes into it, there's this episode where Kion wakes up, and Haruhi asks him to go out and do basically a whole bunch of summer stuff with them for the, for the last two weeks of summer. And uh, so they basically spend the last two weeks of summer going out and going to the pool and catching cicadas and going to a, a fireworks show and all that kind of stuff you're supposed to do during summer. And they, they do it, and Kion doesn't have time for his homework, and so they, they and that's the end of it. And then next episode, uh, Haruhi calls Kion and says they got to go out and, and spend the last two weeks of summer together. Um, doing all the stuff that you're supposed to do at the end of summer. So they go out and they go to the pool and they go to uh, uh, catch cicadas and they go to a fireworks festival and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and he doesn't have time for his homework and that's the end of, end of, end of it. And then the, the uh, next episode, Har Harvey calls him up and they have to finish it. It continues on like that for episode after episode. And um, I think it's in the, the third episode when uh, Kion discovers, could be the second, that Kion discovers that they're in an infinite time loop. Uh, Haruhi has caused some kind of, um, something's not finished in summer, and so she's starting the summer again, and so they're, they're endlessly repeating the same summer over and over again. And this continued on for quite a few episodes, and uh, as Kion you know, re-realizes this every, every summer, and, um, and, or every episode, and, and tries to, to deal with it, but then it can never figure it out, and then it, it repeats. Um... But it gets a little closer every time. And I should point out that um, uh, Kyoto Animation, who did it, has been very careful to... Um, they, they change it up every every single time. So shots from a different perspective. Um, things are a little bit different every time. Characters wearing different clothing. Uh, stuff like that. So it's not like the same shots. But fans got really enraged over this. And they really complained a lot over the fact that they're getting the same plot over and over. And I was kind of disappointed at that fan reaction. Because from my perspective, Kyoto Animation is trying something different. They're trying a different way of doing things. Um, no, this is not the way I want every anime to be, but I'm really glad that KyoAni is doing something experimental and something to make you think and something that is just interesting to watch and to wonder what's, what's going to happen. And I'm just kind of tired of... Um, of fans acting like, how dare Kyoto Animation do something different? How dare they not do something that is fully, entirely entertaining the whole time? How dare KyoAni experiment? And I, I just get annoyed with that. Um, I'm glad KyoAni is doing, doing something different. That's my view. Um, that's basically what's been, what's been going on. Uh, they, they just finished The Endless Eight, uh, with the, I think the past episode. I, I actually watched it and, and saw that, yes, it, it ends. Um, but just to me, it's kind of spoiled for the fans to act that way. I mean, I totally understand saying, I don't like this, but to act like it's a, um, like, I mean, I saw one person say, KyoAni is destroying the franchise with this. If this is really enough to kill your enjoyment of a show, you know, someone doing something experimental and different, and it is at least artistic, at least it's interesting. Again, it's not the same shots over and over. Um, it's, it's the same content, but it's different different visuals. You know, you're not a fan if that's enough to make you just stop watching the show. That's my view. Or, that's, or if that's enough to make you run to the internet and, and complain. Um, and, and again, when, when I say complain, I mean scream and yell. You know, it, it, it's absolutely fine to say, I don't like this, but this is just annoying, and I really wish folks would, would, would get past it and would say, hey, it was something different, it was an experiment, and what's also annoying, just, just to point this out, I mean, KyoAni made Haruhi, which is hugely popular, Lucky Star, which is hugely popular, Kaon, which is hugely popular, then they're doing here season two of Haruhi, and, you know, they do this one experimental thing, and everyone's up in arms. And that's just, no. Let KyoAni experiment. Live with a few episodes that you don't personally like, that you find repetitive, 
But understand that it's there for a reason. They're trying to say something. And I think it's worth sitting there and absorbing that and, and understanding it. And um, I, mean, I certainly stopped watching shows because of, 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 of dumb stuff. But to me, this is a very interesting thing that they're doing. So that's just my take. And I just want to um, uh, get that out there. Again, comments below. Thanks. Take care.